Yo, what's going on? So I've recently been getting super into playing on my alt account, which has got me thinking, what are some great AFK money makers that I can use to not only supplement money for my main, but to be able to make it self-sufficient to maintain membership through bonds as well? So what I'm going to do is go through five different types of AFK alt accounts in no particular order. And these are all mostly more endgame goals to work towards, but you will be making quite a lot of money while working towards these goals. We're going to start with the type of alt that I'm going for, and that's a mining account, and more specifically, amethyst mining. Now, the requirement for this is 92 mining, so I understand that's extremely high, especially for an alt, but you will make some very good money on the journey there, especially going through Motherlode Mine or Gem Rocks, and especially if you start mining Runite ore at level 85. Pretty much all you gotta do is just click once and wait to get the one ore from the vein, and then click another vein, wait a while, get another ore, and so on. And they're worth about 3 to 4k each, depending on the prices. One full inventory is worth 100k, and you can generally expect to mine around 100 per hour, which will net you 300 to 400k, which I think is really good considering how little attention you have to give it. And the bank is literally just steps away from the mine. With this type of alt account, I know it's a long mission to level 92, but one day you'll look at your bank and take out your amethyst store and price check it and just say to yourself, wow, I'm rich. Moving right along to the second type of alt account is a fairly self-explanatory one, but this is a cooking alt, and I would recommend cooking at the rogue's den because of how convenient the bank is. The reason why I would recommend a cooking alt is because it's very satisfying to see how fast you gain cooking experience. It should only take about 60 to 70 hours to get to 99, and once you have that cooking cape, you won't ever burn food while you're wearing it. If you like competing for ranks on the high scores, a cooking alt may be for you, because you will have the opportunity to get a lot of post-99 XP very quickly. So the thing with cooking food is you will generally profit, assuming you don't burn any, but the question is, how much profit? Remember that prices are always changing, but fish are so highly traded that the GE price is usually correct. Uh, monkfish, shark, anglerfish, dark crab are all normally around 100 GP profit, but Karambwans usually have the highest margin of profit, reaching almost 200 GP for each sometimes. So just go with whatever gives the most XP for the amount of profit you'd like to make. You'll be making 3 to 6k profit per inventory of fish, as well as around 6k XP per inventory, which isn't bad at all for such an easy and AFKable skill. The next type of alt is a Teletab alt. The minimum requirements for this are 40 construction, so you can build an oak luck turn in your house, and 25 magic, so you can cast Varrock Teleport. You will need the best kind of servant possible for your construction level, and I would highly, highly recommend getting level 50 construction so you can hire a demon butler. Those 10 extra levels aren't going to hurt you, and if you do that, you can build an eagle like turn which will give you access to even more spells. What you want to bring with you is a lot of cash so you can pay your butler, as well as all the cast for the spell that you can afford. If you have the corresponding staff for the spell, make sure you bring that so you can save money and inventory spaces. Ideally, the only runes you should be using per tab is Law Runes. And then, in your bank, have as much soft clay as you want tabs because each one will translate into one tab. The Demon Butler can carry up to 26 items, but since you have 25 inventory spaces, you'd be better off just asking to grab 25 soft clay from the bank each time so you don't have to go through an extra chat dialogue with him every single time just for one extra soft clay. Unless you have 58 construction, then build the Servant's Money Bag and completely ignore what I just said because then you will have 26 free inventory spots. Okay, now let's get into the profits. For this example, I'm making Falador Teletabs. My inputs are 311 GP and my output is 580 GP. After servant costs and GE margins and whatnot, let's say that's 200 GP profit per tab. You can normally make around 1000 to 1100 tabs per hour, which comes out to over 200k GP per hour. And you could also get anywhere from 40 to 60k magic XP per hour depending on what spell you're using. Higher level spells mean more XP, but don't necessarily mean more GP. You will need higher level lecterns to create teletabs with higher magic requirements, so you will need to get your construction to higher levels as well. Check the current GE prices and find a good trade-off of XP to GP, and find what teleport spell works best for you. Overall, this is a very AF cable method with fairly low level requirements, so I would recommend trying this one out and see how you like it. The fourth type of alt account I'm going to be showing you is very reminiscent of a cooking alt, but this one is going to be for fletching. Fletching again is pretty self-explanatory, but as your level gets higher, you can cut and string higher bows, 
but that doesn't necessarily mean more profit. Stringing will always net you more profit and XP per hour than cutting unstrung longbows at the cost of being less AFK. If you have a lower level or less cash to start with, I would recommend trying to cut maple logs into unstrung longbows because the logs only cost 7 GP each. Just like with cooking, you will profit normally around 100 to 200k GP per hour depending on what type of logs you're using and if you're cutting or stringing. Again, like cooking, this skill can be very satisfying because it's extremely good XP rates that can be very AFK and nets profit on top of all of that. If you like all that and you like competing in the high scores, this may be the type of account build you want to try out for a few days to see if it fits your playstyle. Here we are now with the fifth and final type of AFK alt account. I saved the best for last, and that is a Slayer alt. This one will require the most amount of time and dedication, but I believe it far exceeds any of the other methods. With Slayer, it is so easy to camp at a monster and just make massive amounts of money. Many Slayer monsters are aggressive, which means they are very AFK. Besides just the Slayer requirement for the monsters, there can be many other requirements that need to be achieved on this type of account. For example, you may need to do Priest and Peril to unlock the Mauritania Slayer Tower, or getting the Gem Bag from Motherload Mine, which would help you make more money on tasks. The Bone Crusher from the Mauritania Diary will help you passively earn per XP, and that in itself has plenty of skill and quest requirements. It also helps to get favor in all the Zaya houses to complete Architectural Alliance, so you can use Xerix Talisman to teleport you to the Catacombs, which is where you can complete a lot of Slayer tasks. And there's so many other things to unlock to make a Slayer alt more efficient, like Slayer Ring, Slayer Helmet, Herb Sack, and just so many others. But it will be well worth it, and as your Slayer level goes up, some of the notable monsters are Dust Devils at level 65, Kurask at 70, Skeletal Wyverns at level 72, Gargoyles at 75, and then the final goal, which is Abyssal Demons once you reach level 85 Slayer. Once you get 85, you can camp Abyssal Demons all day. You'll end up maxing your combat stats, and just a single whip drop will get you about two-thirds of the way to a bond. I think you can easily get two whip drops every 14 days before your bond runs out, and that's already going somewhat over a bond price. Any more whip drops beyond that is pure profit, whether you want to transfer it over to your main or use it to progress your alt even more. And remember, the whip drops are on top of all the profit you would make from their normal drops, which still comes out to a few hundred kgp per hour. In the end, it all comes down to what you want your account to be. Is it purely for making money? Then go with the lower level methods that give instant gratification at the cost of lower GP rates. Or maybe you want to make it into an actual alternative account and build it up how you would with your main. Then maybe a Slayer alt is the one for you. And don't worry about committing to one single method, you can always change it up and move on to a different skill if that one's not working out. So I hope I was able to give you some perspective and ideas on how to build an alt account or even inspire you to start working on one. If you have any questions, issues, or want to share your own ideas, please leave a comment with your thoughts, I really would like to hear them. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, every person helps. And if you don't think my videos are trash and want to see more, then please subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me. But I want to thank you so much for watching the video, and I hope to see you again soon.